Hey guys, welcome back. So we got some new footage from Avengers Endgame that Marvel has titled as a special look with the ticket sales just opening today. And man, was it stressful getting these tickets. And just to get this out the way, I usually purchase through the AMC Stubbs membership, but with the amount of people making purchases this morning, the app completely shut down, like it was broken. So then I had to go over to Fandango who saved the day because not only was I able to still purchase AMC IMAX for that Thursday the 25th, but with going over there, I still had to wait in like this digital line for like one hour like i've never seen it this hectic and not even for avengers infinity war because for infinity war i'd seen that earlier today around like noon endgame had actually beaten infinity war for opening sales like three times over and not even halfway through the first day and so to say the least we've entered the realm of astronomical fandomonium and i'm sure a lot of that is the same people who went to go see infinity war but uh, all of them are just going way earlier and it really won't be till like weeks later on till we see how much or how bad avengers Endgame has just destroyed box office records as far as gross ticket sales. Like, I can't wait to see those numbers. But as far as getting into this new footage, I can't help but just to think that, well, for one, we're getting scenes that take place throughout the course of the film, but still, very early on in the film, we will get the Avengers rallying together and really just putting together those who are left to make some type of effort to fix what had happened. With step one being Thor forcing Captain America to shave his beard. Okay, well, maybe not that, but it's likely that this film will begin early on with an attempt to try to fix everything or to confront Thanos that will very much likely fail because throughout the scenes of the special look where we see the Avengers together and what appears to be a scene not long after the arrival of Captain Marvel like we'd seen in the post credit of the Captain Marvel film but here with this smaller group together which is pretty much the same group from that post credit scene with the addition of Rocket and Thor we also have Cap in his Winter Soldier uniform but also more importantly we have Widow here with the short blonde hair which is why I believe this is one of their earlier attempts where they fail because it isn't until much later where her hair is much longer and she's letting the red grow back to where she brings back Hawkeye and the team gives us another try which also raises my suspicions that the footage we've seen in the previous trailer with Hawkeye running through this this hallway and the explosions that is likely that this is on Thanos' ship and on a later attempt once they have more of the crew and they bring the battle to Thanos it is likely that this showdown will happen on the ship first to where most of the footage that we see in this portion of the special look trailer will be your second attempt with Cap with a different suit Black Widow with the red and blonde hair and in this second attempt them causing Thanos' ship to crash land on a nearby planet which is where we get the final battle which I believe will happen multiple times throughout this film because it also appears this way with us seeing Thanos in this scene arriving like two different ways like one time he arrives with his helmet on and another time we see him and it's as if the Avengers arrive and he's already there waiting on them without his helmet in what appears to be much less armor but yet and still the same crash site which once again hints towards that idea of having the same scenario take place in a number of different ways but on the flip side just going back to the whole situation of how we even got everybody back together because at this point where we have Tony, Nebula, Clint, and Scott Lang and I'm sure Banner, Thor, and Carol Danvers are there but just not in the frame at this moment we do got to keep in mind that these scenes where the most of them have come together that Widow once again has the red and blonde hair which in my previous videos I credit much towards the return of Scott Lang who had altered the timeline by arriving and telling them the smaller team which we had seen in the beginning of the film who had tried to go up again against Thanos and it got destroyed and once again even though I say in the beginning of the film this is all going off of the theory that I put in the previous video with Ant-Man previously arriving at the wrong time and Black Widow's hair was kind of like your landmark to kind of tell where in time we were but with taking that theoretical narrative that I've done in that video and just adding a little something extra to it and mainly because of the footage we got in this recent trailer but adding to it first the high probability that the smaller team who also has Captain Marvel is soon after met with the arrival of Tony and Nebula which would also explain the scene of everyone walking outside when their ship arrives which also leads me to believe that Tony and Nebula were actually able to figure out their way back which is what eventually brings the entire team together at this later point in time with your redhead widow so on and so forth but throughout the course of them devising plan number two I also feel like it's very likely that they were attacked at the Avengers base which would explain your footage of Ant-Man jumping through auxiliary cables and number two pencils and duct tape and this would then set up a whole different scenario where Thanos comes to them and this entire scene of this final battle which takes place actually takes 
takes place within the destroyed wreckage of the Avengers headquarters, which on the flip side would be a surprise attack and a slaughter, which would then force Ant-Man to escape and use this opportunity to inform the others of what they need to do prior to that moment. And given the idea that Scott Lang goes back far enough, this could then lend the opportunity not only for them to get Tony sooner, but also for Tony to prepare the suits, which will combine his barf technology with Hank Pym's technology and everything new that they've learned from Carol Danvers, which will likely give them the opportunity to go back to like your Battle of New York to where we'll get to see them give it another shot with their new tools, new suits, which will likely be able to appear in whichever form, whether current or retro depending on what time they're in. And I go more into detail with that with my six ways this could play out video because I do believe that the white suits will be able to disguise them either to blend in with the alternate reality or to help them not disrupt the timeline by knowing who their teammates are and avoiding any confusion or misdirection. But I do believe like in this three part attempt with the first two failing and the third one being the most elaborate actually being the only one that works that this will be like the main gist of the execution of how a lot of this goes down. But I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of thoughts real quick and like my first impressions before diving too deep into any theories because this footage these trailers have just been so inconsistent and literally anything could happen. But for the record I gotta say that I love that it's like that because we literally do not know what to go in and expect which is how it should be because that's how the magic happens but let me know you guys thoughts down in the comments below because i truly believe that this film is going to be a a crazy trip as far as the narrative the avengers trying and failing and some of them possibly dying in some of those attempts only to have come back tried again and proved that they're willing to die again in order to do whatever it takes but sound off down in the comments below let me know you guys thoughts and your ideas and your crazy theories as well too and i also want to know like where do you guys think that this final battle is taking place and not just where but when because i'm telling you guys the fate of the universe is depending on widow's hair and ant-man like those two things are the right now like the most pivotal time tellers so with that said i want to know what you guys think and we'll do it again in the next one all right later Thank you.